Fieldwork at Rechter Randgraben, a side channel of the River Erpe in Berlin and Brandenburg, Germany. This is one of the main study sites of the working group groundwater surface water interactions. We are in the valley of the River Erpe. To be more precise, it is the side channel Rechter Randgraben. Our working group from the Leibniz Institute of Freshwater Ecology and Inland Fisheries is setting up a big field experiment. The river is highly impacted by the effluence of a wastewater treatment plant. Let's have a look at the pore water sampling station for the hyperrake zone. It consists of small green tubes with an inner diameter of 1.5 mm and a filter mesh covering the end of the tube that goes into the sediment. The other end of the tube is attached to a syringe which is placed in a syringe pump. Using that system we can sample pore water in small volumes. Three tubes are attached to one wooden supporting stick in different depth. Here we use five of those multi-level sample sticks. The sticks are inserted in the sediment carefully. It has to be made sure that everything is in an exact place. Therefore, distance between the sticks are checked until all sticks are installed correctly. Meanwhile, the rest of the team sets up the other parts of the big field experiment. Underwater, you can see our multi-level sampling sticks installed in the sediment. We used five of them in order to examine the heterogeneity in the hyperic zone of the river. That is also why we sample in different depths as biogeochemical processes change with increasing distance to the sediment surface. Also note the bed forms that develop at the surface of the stream bed. During the sampling, pore water is pumped through metal flow-through cells equipped with optodes used for oxygen measurements. These optodes are made for low pumping rates and small water volumes and are hence ideal for our measurement setup. The flow-through cells are placed underwater to allow equal and more stable temperature conditions that are used to correct the oxygen concentrations within the cells. In our field setup, pore water is sampled by syringe pumps that allow a very low sampling rate. In this particular experiment, we pump with 0.5 or 1 milliliter per minute. This low pumping rate is important to not disturb the pore water flow in the sediment and to prevent surface water intrusion. Here you can see the syringe pumps in action. Oxygen meters are used to operate the oxygen flow through cells. These meters are connected to a field laptop that allows recording and real-time monitoring of all flow-through cells. By browsing through all the cells and oxygen concentrations at the upper right corner of the screen, we already get a first impression of oxygen concentrations in different depths within the sediment. Generally, we can already see that oxygen is depleted in greater depth and oxygen concentrations are elevated in more shallow depth. Here we can observe members of our group during the sampling process. Pore water needs to be pumped and oxygen results written down. As part of the fieldwork, breaks allow conversations and to enjoy the valley of the River Erpe. Back under the water, we see the instrumentation and conditions in the river. The samples we are taking here are either analyzed for some tracers directly in the field, while analysis for, for example, DOC, nutrients, major ions, redox indicators and trace organic compounds will be done at the chemical lab at IGB and at the TU Berlin. The Erpe and the side channel are dynamic systems where the discharge of the water fluctuates during the course of a day. This is because the input of treated wastewater from the wastewater treatment plant fluctuates in a daily and sub-daily pattern.